was a pretty regular guy, but he wasn't always such an easy person. Some called him cantankerous, and he was often in his own study world. He was married to Lord Katie, he called her, the love of his life, my morning star Wittenberg, and she was the backbone of what he was to accomplish in his life. They had a family with many children and a dog, and she kept a very productive garden and even more amazing brewery. They lived in an old monastery. So going back a bit, in 1483, Martin Luther was born in Eisleben, Germany. When he was only 13 years old, his parents sent him to the University of Erfurt to study law. He finished his undergrad and his master's. And then, when he was only 21, his life took a dramatic turn. You may have heard the story. Luther was caught in a severe thunderstorm on the road to Erfurt. Lightning struck the ground near him, and the young Catholic feared his life and made a deal right there with God. Help me, St. Anne, Luther screamed. If you do, I will become a monk. Well, he sold everything and became a monk right then and there, a very good monk. He prayed diligently. He went without food, without sleep. He endured bone-chilling cold without a blanket. He did all these things, performed all these good works to become holy in order to make it to heaven. Have you ever worked really hard at something and never attained it? Have you ever tried to seek perfection and it never came? Have you ever thought that by doing everything right, you might find true happiness? This is what got young Martin into trouble. He felt like he could never be good enough, righteous enough, worthy enough. This was the basis of the revolution in young Martin Luther's head and heart. But he began to see a way through. Listen to his words. At last, meditating by day and night, by the mercy of God, I began to understand that the righteousness of God is that through which the righteous live by a gift of 